Hello everyone, I'm your produce guy. Today what I've done for you is I've put together a series of video clips that I've made as I've gone through the shiitake mushroom growing process with my logs. So I've compiled those here to show you the steps that I went through and I want to share them with you now. I'm here now to get some water for the mushrooms. Now you, ha you can't use chlorinated water. It's going to kill the mushrooms. Chlorine is bad, so no tap water. With the, with the mushrooms. Now where we live, right over here, well I don't live right over here, but where we live, we are very fortunate to have an artesian well that this water just pours, comes out of the ground right here. And it's spring water, fresh, clean, delicious. So I'm gonna use this uh, for the mushrooms. Now where, where you are, you can use uh, distilled water, bottled spring water, anything like that, or you can take your tap water, put it in a bottle, and take it out in the sun, and let the sun work on it. After you leave it in the sun a few days, the chlorine works its way out of the water. It evaporates out. Chlorine's a gas, and so it'll evaporate out. So you can use your tap water if you dechlorinate it. But this is running here, and it's free. So I'm going to take it. Okay, I'm going to take this water home. I'm going to use it for everything, including the ice. I'm going to freeze some of this in some old uh, gallon milk jugs, uh, freeze that up for the ice, and use this for the fresh water. So let's go home and start soaking these mushroom logs. Yeah! All right, the next step for uh, getting our logs ready to produce is called shocking. Now, we're going to soak uh, one of the logs. I'm going to alternate. So one of the logs is going to get shocked now. One will be shocked later. It'll rest for now. I've got a, just a regular ice chest right here. Now, if you had, you, know, you can see that log's about 10 inches long. If you had a container that uh, it would fit into and you were spacing your refrigerator, you could just put it in your refrigerator and some nice ice water in there and shock it in there for 24 hours. My refrigerator is full of fresh produce. So, I'm going to do it in this ice chest. Now, I scrubbed out the ice chest, and I've got my spring water that I picked up. I've got about an inch and a half, two inches in here right now. And then I made some ice from the spring water as well, just an old uh, plastic water container. Put that in the freezer and froze it. So I'm going to go ahead and break out this ice and get it in here, and then we're going to get to the shocking. Okay, I, uh, I busted the ice out of my plastic container, just kind of... Uh, chopped around it with, uh, with a hammer and got the ice in here, got a big old ice cube in there. I've actually frozen a total of three of these. Uh, we'll put this in, we'll shock it now and ha in the ice water. Then I'll probably add one before I go to bed and another one in the morning after I get up. Now the shocking, why, what, what the shocking is all about is the mushrooms are in here, they're alive, they're growing, the roots are, but the shocking fools the mushrooms into thinking it's springtime. It's a winter chill and then boom they come out and it's time to flower and that's what makes them makes them get to work. So in it goes okay and just turn it up. I don't know if you can see that at all but I got my log in there. Not quite enough water so I'll add some more water and we'll set this thing aside to soak. Okay, here's our next update on our mushroom logs. I got done soaking the logs. The first log was the, uh, uh, the log was shocked. And that was in the, again, the ice water. It was in there for 24 hours in that ice bath. I pulled it out and uh, got a plate and just set it on the plate. Then uh, I, I took the next log. That's this uh, resting log right here. I soaked this one for 12 hours at room temperature water. These logs need to maintain about a 35% interior moisture content for the mushrooms and uh, so the logs have to be soaked like every two weeks. Now today's Thursday I took that log out of the, uh, the shocking bath on Sunday so we've been about four days here. I've got to show you this thing. It says in about a week mushroom pins develop. Look at these things. I've got mushrooms busting out all over this log already. Look at that. 
Isn't that great? This is Thursday uh, from Sunday. Terrific. So this thing is really starting to go. We'll keep you updated. Now this is what we've been waiting for. These beautiful, mature shiitake mushrooms. Look at that. Now these are ready to harvest, and you harvest them by just cutting off the stem right at bark level. I thought they would keep growing, and I didn't pick them when they were ready. About a week in is all it took. Okay, I have an admission to make. I am a man, which means that I am genetically predisposed to not stopping and asking for directions and not reading my instructions. I'd have had more success had I thoroughly read my instructions. I thought that these shiitakes would keep growing and getting bigger and bigger. Well, not the case. These guys are at the end of their life cycle. So now I'm going to harvest these and they're going to be dried and used in uh, building a soup stock, a delicious soup stock, but uh, I missed my window on this uh, second log. This was a great experience though, seeing the mushrooms grow. And now that it's, uh, it's time to be harvested, the next step is these uh, two logs that I picked up, they need to be uh, rested, which means they, get, they just sit there in their regular spot. They'll get the light and dark cycle uh, here in the kitchen, and they'll be soaked every two weeks to keep the internal moisture content up. And in about eight weeks, I can fruit them again. The fruiting, which I thought took up to a month, takes only six, seven days, you'll have mature mushrooms like I did in the, in the photos that we showed you. This has been a lot of fun. I just want to remind you that if you'd like to pick up some shiitake logs and grow your own right in your own kitchen, to go to shiitakemushroomlog.com. That's the website for Lost Creek Mushroom Farms. My friends there will hook you up and you can grow your own as well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for being with us. And any questions or comments you have, please leave those. I'm also looking for possible suggestions of what to do with the mushrooms. I've had a suggestion of fresh mushrooms on a pizza, a shiitake mushroom pizza. Uh, I'm going to make some soup with some of these dried ones. What other ideas do you have? Leave those in the comments section and we'll, uh, we'll try and put those into practice. Thanks so much for viewing the video today. I am your produce guy and... As I harvest these mushrooms, and just slice them right off the log here, there we are. I want you to remember, fresh is best. Okay, this salad is so easy. It only has four ingredients. First of all, I've got fresh ripe apricot, some crumbled blue cheese, some toasted walnuts, and some honey that we're going to drizzle over the top.